I would love to pile drive your wife. All right, bro. We ain't you, you, bro. You don't have to see me. That, that's just what it is. You ain't about to threaten my wife. I'm putting this microphone down, and we throwing hands. <laughs> What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back out again with another video. So we're gonna be checking out most savage moments in wrestling history outside of WWE by none other than Apex Predator series. This should be a good one because I'm not gonna lie to you, it's different when people are given a microphone outside of WWE. Granted, it may be, you know, a little bit different now that Triple H is, uh, a, you know, in control of creative and uh, in, in control of what we see on TV now. So I've been seeing reports that he allows, he's going to start allowing the wrestlers to, you know, come up with their own promos, be less scripted, which I like and I can appreciate. And that's how it should be. So we're going to check this out. Appreciate all the love and support. You guys have been running it up on the subscriptions, on the likes, on the views. Thank you guys so much. Let's do the damn thing. You dig it, dig it, suck up. Maybe I'll pile drive your wife oh. and kids. I would love to pile drive your wife. All right, bro. We ain't, you, you, bro, you don't have to see me. That, that's just what it is. You ain't about to threaten my wife. I'm putting this microphone down and we throwing hands. The end. My wife and kids, they say hi. Oh, wow. Let's start my <laughs> music. Yo. Oh, is this what y'all been telling me? Is, is this the infamous clip that y'all been telling me I need to check out from them? Let me, let me see Listen, what they talking about. No filter, I ain't Instagram. We make the ass boys retire like Vince McMahon. Oh. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. I like that. I like that. I like that, boy. That was, hold on. We may have to run that back. The, the timing on that was perfect. That was good. That was good. I'm not going to take it off you. They are. Wait. Did they make him take off the Raw as War shirt? Holy, bro. ECW fans. They said, I'm not going to make you take it off. They going to make. I, I believe them ECW fans would have definitely made him take that shirt off. Here's your Monday Night Raw. This idiot can't do nothing. He can't perform simple tests. Clean my glasses. Clean my glasses, bitch. No, no, not, oh. You're starting to make your brother sound like the sober one. Yeah, this, I, I saw this one. That was fucked. Somebody should just go unplug his microphone. First off, I don't need you chanting my name. I am sick and tired. I've seen this clip. Of making stars. Because they get paid. And they go to. Oh! <laughs> this, oh, bro. Mega Ultra Heel. Mega Ultra Heel. A straw tomorrow. He's a piece of shit. You raised a piece of shit. Oh, my. If you think you can beat the acclaimed, you better wait. You must be higher than the Chicago murder rate. It's wacky mode. Imitating Ric Flair will always be funny to me, bro. Hey, spot on. You've got <laughs> <laughs> to be the man. You've got to beat the man. Are you still a virgin, bro? Ask your mom, bro. <laughs> yeah. But you gotta look at the person that's making the threats. This fat son of a bitch. This fat son of a bitch is gonna call us all out. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. He's fat! <laughs> In case you guys didn't know, he's fat. <laughs> I'm sorry, your entire family isn't dead, and they had to witness... <laughs> Except for your mom, Jungle Boy. 
Listen, the only thing this scumbag city has going for it is that you're close to Canada. You've never had a drink. This is so, bro. Christian was do he, <laughs> those promos. Is, those are promos that legit make you want to like, I, right, bro. You gonna see me when this show is over? I actually the show. We, you gonna see me while we're doing the show. I'm gonna put the beats to you. They're gonna have to arrest me. Or did a drug in your life, have you, Brian? Stick with this lot long enough until you gotta join the program with Moxley. Oh. On this microphone, in that ring, even at commentary. How you gonna say most savage moments in history outside of WWE? Hold on, maybe this is a setup clip. Nobody can touch me. That on this mic and in mm, this ring, there we go. even at commentary, nobody can touch me. And stop smirking at me like you did the other day. Or I'll smack you right off your face. I'll see you on the 13th. Oh! After I'm done beating you up, do me a favor. Quit again and leave for seven years and don't come. Oh! You're no more. This, that was a good, they're, they're back and forth. It was great. Eddie Kingston's really, really talented on the, in on the microphone. It's not bad in the ring. And the fans connect with him. The only problem is how they book him. The fans legit connect. The fans love them some Eddie, bro. The fans love them some Eddie because he just gives off that 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 rugged. I don't give a damn. I'll beat your ass. I don't care if you beat my ass. We're both going to the hospital. And I think people can resonate with that. I just wish that Tony Khan and you know his people, his team, could book him where he could potentially be that 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 main event player. That's just my opinion on it. Did a big Dumb bitch. Oh. You think you tough better stop that. You're gonna expire just like your contract. I think we I've seen this one. Pretending like you're some great team all alone, but that charade's gone because you two never met before Tony Khan. Oh your yeah. daughter swallows. <laughs> some of the best. When you were a little bitch. I mean, some of the best heel work, bro. Being a little boy, and they were slapping you around. That's the problem. You're just a walking, talking glory hole. You oh. need to go off in that sunset, boy, before you get shot in the back of your head like old Yella. Oh, and damn. He's gonna learn a lesson. We have him looking worse than Starcade 97. <laughs> Oh, all right, bro. <laughs> sir, 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 what are you doing? You can't get up. I got to go murder somebody on live television. But, sir, you're back. I don't care about my back. I'll be back. <laughs> the last, before the last name that you have to take is Johnny 205. And ass boys Damn. more like Dumb and Dumber. Come back and fight us, you broke mother. F oh, easy, Tiger. <laughs> Oh no. Could stick your head between my legs and pile drive you on your ugly face. It's been a while, Regal. It's what is going on with him? I guess his his impact run of pile driving people. What's his infatuation it's, with you? It's good to see you because quite frankly, I thought you'd be dead by now. Whoa. You've been fired from every company you ever worked for. I'm like Will Smith, I slap you with you smiling, but you look like you For you. <laughs> uh oh, and I've seen we've seen this clip before. That's why this company's in the damn shape it's in because of bullshit like this. Call your girl, she all in my mentions, trying yeah. to hit me up for some oral sessions. That was that was a cold one too. Hey Fat boy, I got the microphone. <laughs> I fucking love MJL, bro. I'm, we miss him, man. <laughs> the wrestling world misses MJF, bro. I'm here to say that WCW sucks. Oh. Oh. I'm not scared of you, mister. Why would I be scared of one of Bobby Lashley's sisters? Wow. Yeah. What's up with that? Oh, by the way, John Cena wants his gimmick back. Wow. Mm. To have a conversation 
Brian Pillman. Hey, Pillman, we need to oh, talk. Oh, bro, he's so good. So good. Let me remind you, Russo, you may be the boss, but out here, I'm your daddy. Do you really want to have a wrestling match? Because I promise you, it's going to last as long as your Intercontinental Championship run. Oh. And nothing but a mid Carter. Oh. Damn. Oh, damn. You should change your name to Mid Cardona. Mid Cardona. It's funny that you're mocking me, kid, but I'm not the John Cena double that you probably think. Mm. Christian dusted off the cob. That's messed up, bro. <laughs> he said, your son's. A you know, that's. Whew, ah, it's a different time. In the wrestling world back then. <laughs> he used to be cool, but only when he had an edge. <laughs> hey, Seidel, you tripping. Is this your mouthpiece right here? Because if this was your mouthpiece, the first thing he should have done was come out here and kiss my ass. Oh. Well, guess what? Samoa Joe great on the microphone, too. Woo! I'll give you this. There's one thing about you that's very real, and that's your shitty little list. You're in fuck <laughs> task, Cody. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did I offend you, huh, bud? He's so Beat good. dead men and immortals and hell, guys you can't even see. I should have said... Are you finished, you carny jagoff? <laughs> Make sure he hoards all that money. Oh, so he this can is give it to all legendary. the new ex-WWE guys and keep bringing in. Legendary. Legendary. Just. Would you treat me better if I was an ex-WWE oh guy? Bro. The reason why you got fired from WWE. I didn't get fired. You oh. Got fired Oh. Scotty, I'm not surprised about you either because you're nothing but a brainless jockhead who plays follow the leader wherever you go. We are crazy <laughs> for the people in the seats. Y'all are less popular than Glenn Jacobs' tweets. Yep. <laughs> you, you shut the f up. Oh my God, bro. This is such a... <laughs> ECW, bro. Taz. <laughs> Don't give a damn. You're also... An egotistical son of a bitch. Leo Rush can't hang in this environment. He's about to go into his 15th retirement. <laughs> Team Taz ain't got no plus. So hang with us if you want to be down. You're the only good thing from this depressing ass town. Damn. Look at him. I'm not tripping. He's overrated like Nashville hot chicken. <laughs> If you want these people to hang on your every word, make sure you stand on your tippy toes so they can see your face over the top rope. Oh my God, this the, match the disrespect. is not going to happen. What, what's your name? Casey Quint. $45. It's $20 more than they were going to pay you. You! That, that, that was kind of cold, bro. That was cold, Cody. As always, like they told me, became a selfish little bitch. Hell, I could have went to Tinder and swiped left or right if I wanted a bitch. Mm. <laughs> Send you back where you belong. To mid-card status. Oh! Yes. CM Punk. That having an undefeated streak in a string of underwhelming matches against underwhelming opponents made you championship material. I thought that just made you the new Ryback. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> that mother of yours whose basement you live in she swallows so so good when bro. i look at you i see another bunch of immortal trying to keep it all in the family and judging by your background that shouldn't be too hard hillbilly oh i'm a long hair redneck while i look at you and i see nothing but a dumb bitch oh hey dixie before you go why don't you put that microphone where it belongs oh today okay hold on we the people sucks and it's dead and buried. The stupid idea from bad creative and all <laughs> that's gone. 
that that was a that was a pretty cool pretty cool moment bro that was a pretty cool moment the only way you're gonna be number one is if we all wait around long enough for tony to have a daughter that you marry <laughs> we got a mom in the front row who taught her daughter how to suck oh come on you fat balls motherfucker how did he know his name it doesn't matter Oh yeah, ECW. Oh yeah, ECW was different. Oh, they were different. That's that's. Oh man. Matter how elite you are, it doesn't matter if you're the boss, the oh. man, a king, the queen. The acclaim about to mm. throw you around. Got these bitches running out like Antonio Brown. Mm. <laughs> You about to get your chin smack trying to work here cuz you couldn't make an impact oh, <laughs> the max. Anthony's just a less famous Miz that was a sick ass burn. that less their promo segment still one of the best ever that burn right there you're just a less famous Miz oh my god that shit was good that shit was good that's just was like good. jungle boy you had a father. Oh my God, bro! Stop him! And in that ring, white bread of fans coming up. <laughs> He's such an asshole. Just cheap. Oh my God! I'm not a sports entertainer, Chris. This is a wrestling company, not a sports entertainment company. My man, go down the block. Except I guarantee that this sports entertainment will actually be entertaining, because. <laughs> Oh. My name is Tony Khan, and I'm here to say I'll suspend the acclaim for another 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I love it! Did I? Yeah! <laughs> the greatest Jay group of men. <laughs> <It's so great. laughs> That's right. What? Come on, Duck brothers. Tenors. I'm going to put you in the poverty, dog. Mm. <laughs> I'm about to verbally finish you quicker than your UFC career. <laughs> Unlike you, Piper was actually talented enough to main event a WrestleMania. Such a good segment between you two. I'm starting to be shown the proper respect around here, maybe I'll main event a Mania too. On the cool, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. If he could... Now that Triple H is in control, he could really do some damage in WWE. Like he, they, they would. Oh my God, they could use him so great in WWE, because he would have free reign to kind of be himself. You know what I'm saying? He probably wouldn't be able to curse as much, but he. Oh my God, bro! I know Triple H would want him in WWE, because I know for a fact he would be the best heel in the company. And all the matches and feuds, he would make you interested just off his talking ability. Bruh. Because right now, I don't know what they're doing with him in AEW, but if they don't find a way to get him back on television and, you know, make things work out between him and Tony Khan, that would be one of their greatest losses, bro. Because MJF, anytime there's a segment with him on, you're going to listen, you're going to watch. He knows how to build up hype for matches. I don't know, man. I don't know. Flames in the guns, what the fans prefer. We're about to make y'all pay like Amber Heard. A little decorum here, please, Milwaukee. Shut your damn mouth. Speaking of social media. No, I'm not done yet. And if you interrupt me again, I'll tear that little earring out of your head. You got me? You think I came back to this help so out good. the next generation? No, that's bullshit. I came back here to make a ton of money, and that's the only reason. Here's the thing, Jungle Boy. I never wanted to be your father. I never wanted to be your father figure. You have a father, but your father's dead. This is so fucking... Oh, my God, this is messed up. Oh, man. Oh, man. This was a great video. This this was a great video. I, I did... I, know, I always knew ECW. That was a different... <laughs> that, that's a different place when it comes to wrestling but i just be forgetting how how fucking brutal they were on the microphone the fans didn't give a damn it was a crazier time bro it was a crazier time period but comment down below and let me know man what's your 
favorite promo delivery from it doesn't matter it doesn't matter from what company it can be from impact it can be from an independent company it can be from wwe it can be from AEW. who who had the best promo you've heard in your opinion doesn't matter when time period let me know what company the wrestlers from and we'll talk about it down below i'm pretty sure some of you guys are gonna probably have mjf in that conversation because the promo work he's done just alone on aew is it's 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 ridiculous so but i appreciate all the love and support road to 90k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace